I'm Dean Slingo, Managing Director of Slingo Earth Moving. Me and my father operate Slingo Earth Moving at a Castlemay and Bendigo area and have been for the past 30 odd years. Uh, we've been involved in uh, civil earth moving and the quarry transport, truck and dog side of things and recently have purchased a couple of new Macs and have uh, chosen to put King Bars on them. The Superliner is a, a 685 Superliner with a King Bar Bull Bar, the replica of the 50th anniversary bar. We put great white driving lights on, on this as well to match all the square. The square look with the oversized signs um, and King have actually put a, a um, leather matte cover over the oversized signs which has finished it off brilliantly. The bumper bar that we chose for the truck and dog is uh, also a king bar as I said but we put the LED driving lights built into the bumper bar which greatest idea ever the driving lights in there the driver said it makes a hell of a difference compared to the normal the normal truck lights and just the other day he actually was saying how he he smoked a kangaroo um, got out to and have a look at what damage was done and he said he couldn't believe there wasn't even a, a mark in the bar and so already it's probably paid for itself already because I would say there's any of my other bars I've had from factory wouldn't have stood up to, to what that one has. The finish of them is they're second to none, they're, they're really well finished and, and tough. That's the, the main thing where we got them, that if they have a tough, a tough bar so if you do hit something you're not down the panel shop, you know, getting it straightened or putting it out on a press to straighten it. Um, that's all time off the road and once, they, once they're bent, they're always bent so yeah we can't afford to have any of that so that's why this time we chose to get away from the factory, the factory bars and go for Gun King. We used to just run with a factory bar but a couple of the factory bars haven't really stood up to hits with kangaroos like the, the route we're doing at the moment really you know, just kangaroos everywhere on this road we're going and you can't help but hit the odd one. And I've noticed with the factory bars, you've really noticed some dints and ripples in them. They haven't got the support out on the edges that King's got. Um, and so you can see the difference in the bar. It's, it's already proven, because we have smoked a couple pretty, pretty hard and it's, it's stood up and can't see a thing. The final finish, the final product, yeah, very neat. Yeah, you know, it's a, it's a good look. Um, you know, some bars you see uh, just not quite finished correctly. These ones, um, we went a little bit further with the SLS product um, that we put on them, sort of to match the the King stuff, really. Yeah, these two, these two, we thought we might as well go that little bit further. Yeah, so I'd I'd say they're finished and the way they look is. I'm really happy with. I actually smoked a room myself in the in the superliner with the with the bull bar on it, and I um I couldn't even find where I hit it, but I smoked it pretty well. Um, I was a bit afraid to have a look to start with because I thought the bloke that normally drives it might give you a bit of a reaming, but couldn't even couldn't even tell where it was hit. So yeah, at at the moment they're withstanding what they're supposed to do.